Hello, in this video series we show you how to turn these 22 tons of oak trees into this here, firewood. The truck delivered 22 tons of oak trees and there are different sizes you can see, some of them are smaller ones and a few of those that have been delivered are quite big like these two big ones on the bottom. If you want to heat your house with firewood you need lots of space. First you need space for the trees like here and later for the firewood. So you need space for a lot of these uh, little towers to stack and season and dry the firewood. So lots of space is necessary. Let's also for today look at our tools. These are the basic tools. Let's go through them now. First, you will need a chainsaw to cut off the rounds from the trees, to convert the trees into rounds of the appropriate size. And with the chainsaw, you need other tools. This comes in quite handy for maintenance purposes. And this here is uh, a kit for filing. As you can see, this is the official steel kit. And on the inside, what you will find is a couple of uh, tools for cleaning and measuring so this helps you to actually clean the blade and so on and to measure the angle while you do the sharpening with the file and two different files the primary one the round one this here comes with a guide so you sure you are level and it also comes with these markers on the bottom so you can make sure you have the 30 in my case 30 degree angle and it comes with the flat file to adjust uh, the other part of the chain, of your chainsaw. So, this so much about the chainsaw. What you need is some safety tools as well. Definitely you need some safety glasses. You need some gloves. I use some uh, ear protection when I'm working with the chainsaw. And I even use a very cheap uh, helmet, just in case. Once you have used your chainsaw to convert your trees in rounds like these two here, then you will need uh, these tools to chop the wood. This is a Fiskars splitting axe. It's the X27. That actually means it's uh, in total 2.7 kilos heavy. That's uh, close to a total weight of uh, 7 pounds, a little bit less than 7 pounds. It's um, carbon fiber handle and on the bottom of the handle you have this little hook here I think it's kind of nice you actually when you feel it you know where your hands are uh, it's a good tool but it's not the appropriate tool for the really big uh, rounds if you have a look at these rounds here these are about uh, nearly three feet in diameter and we cannot attack them with this axe here with the splitting axe so the splitting axe is handy for little rounds like these here that's perfect size for the splitting axe but once you get to a size like a round like this or a round like that I would say this is about uh, a foot and a half roughly here then it's certainly a lot more convenient to use uh, a mole the ones I have uh, bought is this one here it's a uh, French made Le Bourne. Uh, actually, the component Le Bourne was uh, bought recently by Fiskars, so today it's actually also Fiskars. There's the very equivalent uh, mole, I think it's the X39 under the Fiskars level, label, uh, but they are identical. So this has uh, a three pound head, and uh, that's um, roughly seven pound head, and the total weight is about nine pounds. And I use this tool for the big rounds and since I'm lazy in order to avoid changing many cases I use the mole the mole also for the smaller rounds so actually this is my my key tool here is right this here for chopping splitting everything I have basically in rare occasions so far I've actually only used it once I use a wedge this one here is uh, two kilos in weight that's a little bit more 
than four pounds, between four and five pounds. And it's a model with a 45 degree angle torsion, so it uses torsion power. When you put it in, you can see it will actually turn itself uh, as you throw, push it in and it has a 45 degree angle. As it goes in, it turns, and by turning, it uses torsion power to, to split the wood. And sort of as, um, for convenience, I bought this X sharpener, which uh, once in a while I can use with the Fiskars X uh, for sharpening the blade. I do not use it on the mole. So if you want to get some idea about the prices, um, chainsaw, I used uh, a buy used model. This one cost me around uh, 350 euros used through eBay, internet. Um, the filing set I also bought through eBay. I don't quite remember the price. Might have been maybe 20 euros or something. Then uh, the X sharpener, 10 euros. Uh, the actual X, the Fiskars X27, I think I paid some 60 euros. And uh, my favorite tool, my most important tool for the splitting is this here. It's uh, Le Bon and it's the one with the 3 kilo, 6.5 uh, pound head and that ran me around uh, 75 euros so you can ah, and also I don't quite remember the price of this one I would say most likely I paid 25 euros for that and I use it very very infrequently so actually nearly everything I do with this here and that's the set of tools I need then I will explain later I use a tire very handy tool on another video I show how and what for and of course, if you chop wood, if you split wood, you'll have uh, small pieces for Kindle. And so I go to the local market and I can get three boxes like these. And I have uh, dozens of these wooden boxes. And I fill them with the Kindle. Uh, and then I stack these boxes up. They're all the same size, so very handy uh, for drying the Kindle wood. To summarize, I think this is actually the minimum amount of tools you need. Uh, everything here you will have to have in order to use uh, firewood to heat your home. Uh, get yourself a free uh, old tire, get yourself free boxes from the market and these tools, uh, two kinds, an axe, a mole, a chainsaw with the tools, some uh, safety gear the wedge and the sharpener, all of this you will need. There's nothing you can uh, avoid buying, so this you will need.